Hey there team, Rachel here from the Workshop Whisperer where we help you and your auto repair shop to achieve business success. Now you're probably wondering what on earth I'm doing on here on a Sunday, but I've got something pretty uh, important and what I think is powerful um, that I'd love to share with you. Um, we're talking today about greatness and how greatness doesn't actually start um, when you have the external validation that um, you have achieved something. So it doesn't start when the award is won. Um, it doesn't start when all of the money arrives in the bank. And it doesn't start when you receive a verbal acknowledgement of your success. Greatness um, actually begins at the moment that you decide uh, to take a single step towards achieving your goal. Now, I'm going to explain quite thoroughly what I mean uh, when I talk about this, and I'm going to read uh, from my notes this time, which isn't something that I normally do, but I want to make sure that um, I don't miss out. So hello, if uh, you're joining me live, make sure you let me know and uh, let me know if you're catching the replay. So when we talk about greatness, um, you know, this can be uh, viewed through the lens of athletics, um, of academia, and of course, through the lens of business. So I'm going to give you a few examples um, to hopefully help you understand what it is that I'm talking about when I say that greatness doesn't start um, when you achieve, achieve the award or the money's in the bank. So let's talk about um, the athlete to start with. So Greatness for an athlete doesn't start when uh, they, uh, they win their medal or their race. It starts when they decide um, back in their childhood to get up earlier, um, to alter their diet, to train harder or longer than their competitors. Breakthrough results um, aren't even created by your actions. Okay, so there's things that we do that can um, mean that we are out training, out working our competition, but there's something that before that that leads to us um, even doing those actions, and that is thinking. So it's actually breakthrough thinking that is required to set you on the path to greatness. So that thinking leads to your decisions um, that mean you'll be taking extraordinary actions that your peers just won't take. So this is particularly important for us in business. There's a whole bunch of auto repair shop owners that are going to see this video and some of them won't even have made it this far. Some will watch for the first few minutes. Um, some might get halfway through. Some will make it all the way to the end. Um, some will just scroll on past and have ne uh, never even listened to me speak a word of it. And for those that did make it to the end, they will have decided at the start of this video that there was something that they wanted to pick up from it. Their thinking was different to the one that just decided to scroll on past or not hang around uh, for the entire time. A great example um, is US Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps. He won 18 gold medals. Okay, he will go down in history as one of, if not the greatest uh, Olympic swimmer, Olympic medal, gold medal winner of all time. But his thinking is what made him become great. So back when he was a little guy, he was up in the pool super early. His parents obviously supporting him to do this. Um, but his gold medal collection um, is as a result of the greatness he chose for himself when he decided to apply himself to his sport. And it's exactly the same for us in business if we want a great business. I'll explain more. So the school student doesn't become great the moment that they top their state in their final exams. Um, they started towards greatness when they decided to add extra study sessions on what was um, on top of what was recommended and they maximised the resources available to them. They probably asked for help more than any other kid. They checked out more library books and read more texts than any other kid. They spent hours more than any other kid in order to become great, in order to achieve their success. So the football player, 
that tops the league in goals scored doesn't become great when he's given the award. He became great when his thinking led to him kicking countless goals at practice, often long after the team had left. His thinking was different. His thinking may also have led to him hiring a specialist goal-kicking coach to give him the edge over his rivals. So the businessman uh, or woman uh, doesn't become great when he or she lands the big contract or banks their first million dollars. It's the thinking early on in business that is the catalyst. Even if you're somewhere down the track, a tweak in your thinking can completely change the outcome for your, biz for your business. So the business person's decision to meticulously learn and review their numbers to try one more marketing strategy, to knock on one more door to get that yes, that's where the greatness started, not when the end result was achieved. Let's switch over to you for a second. So is your thinking great? After listening to those examples, is what you're thinking about on a daily basis, is it going to lead to a great business? I know you want a great business, but if you've just been listening to me, you will have realized it doesn't happen in one day and so many people would like it to happen in one day. Um, you don't just arrive at being great. You become great first through your thinking. It's your thinking that leads to your great actions. So getting up an hour earlier to exercise for your physical and mental health, that's great thinking. Spending 10 minutes on your Sunday afternoon today um, to prepare mentally for your work week ahead, that's great thinking. Ensuring your seven minute team huddle happens every single morning without fail, rain, hail or shine, that's great thinking. Sticking to your finance meeting every Friday um, to review sales, expenses, productivity and efficiency and making the necessary decisions to change outcomes. That's great thinking. Not tolerating subpar performance or behaviour and letting go of the people who don't fit your culture. That's great thinking. Empowering your team to be solutions focused. As hard as that seems, that's great thinking. It's as simple as the next time one of your team members comes over to you and asks you a question, you ask them back, what do you think the solution could be? That's great thinking. Realising that no leader is perfect, but taking steps to close the gaps in your leadership, that's great thinking. Not burying your head in the sand anymore when you realise you've got a debt problem. Instead, asking for help to dig your way out, that's great thinking. Being like the champion goal kicker or the 18 Olympic gold medal winner who hired coaches who only work with people like them. Experts in their field who help them achieve that extra 10% that the others just can't work out on their own. That's great thinking. To be great, uh, you have to put yourself in the arena. Now, it was American President Theodore Roosevelt that said more than 100 years ago, it's being in the arena that counts. So you get into the arena with your thinking. The great news is that you can actually get into the arena today on a Sunday and you don't have to go into your auto repair shop to get started. Just by changing the way you think about um, how you will achieve success in your auto repair shop can make all the difference. It starts with really small steps and we have people that come into our engine room coaching program for auto repair shop owners who come in and they want to know everything all at once. They want to know all the things that are going to help them and get them quick fixes so that, you know, all of this change and greatness can happen all at once. And it's just not the way it works. It's about a change in thinking and then small steps. So the effort from the small steps is cumulative, meaning that um, the effort from your actions leads to continued improvement as long as you continue with the actions. So what you need uh, to stop thinking today, what do you need to stop thinking today rather, um, that will put you straight into the arena, get you into the arena right now. So do you need to stop thinking that you're just a mechanic and you don't know how to run a business? How about instead you think, I'm an awesome mechanic and I'm in the process of learning how to run an awesome business? 
Slight change in thinking makes all the difference. Are you thinking that you'll never be able to pay your bills on time? How about you say this to yourself instead? I acknowledge where I'm at financially. I'm asking for help to discover how we got here. And I'm learning new ways to do things differently to make sure we never come back here again. That's great thinking. Are you down in the dumps because you can't find a big uh, a new team member? I know that this is a big thing for many of you at the moment because there is such a skill shortage no matter which country you're in. Try this way of thinking instead. While we wait for our newest team member to join us, we are learning to adjust the way we do things so that we don't burn out. While ensuring we have the best team culture ready to welcome those attracted to what we offer. That's great thinking. Being in the arena, choosing to be great now before you see the rewards, you can start that right now. Tiny baby adjustments in your thinking is all it takes. Greatness can start right here, right now, on a Sunday afternoon. So tell me, after having heard all of that, um, what's the one tweak that you can make right now in your thinking that will put you in the arena straight away? What habit can you adopt or change or even delete that often repeated will be great? I'd love to know in the comments below um, the one tweak that you can make in your thinking and the habit that you can take up from now or let go of from now that is going to um, help you create these series of actions, these series of steps, which results um, in that external validation eventually that it's great, but you know um, is great right now because it puts you and separates you from everyone else. I hope you found that really useful, uh, certainly useful for me uh, and why I'm here on a Sunday um, doing the one thing that uh, I know can help you moving forward. I'll speak to you during the week, guys. Have a good one.